Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, the Pedalmouth Coast series. We are, uh, we are essentially where we left off in the last episode. We've got our train here that's absolutely flying. I mean, to be fair, this train is probably going a little bit fast for that viaduct. It absolutely flew around there, didn't it? Uh, it's off to pick up some logs. What's it off to do with those logs? Uh, hang on, it's not off to pick up logs at all, you're lying. Uh, in the last episode we had a look and saw that we had abandoned these factories here. We need some uh, we need some machines because down here uh, we're taking machines to Temple. Or that's what we're trying to do. Uh, so yeah, we're making some machines because I hadn't been delivering anything other than... Uh, hang on, where are we? I'm, I'm lost. That's the one. We've been delivering steel to both of these industries. We haven't been delivering any plastic or any wood. So uh, yeah... Yeah, that's that's not great. What that's probably meant is that there'll be no steel waiting here. There is still steel waiting here. Okay, yeah, ignore me. Uh, but we need to bring some planks. So we've got some wood trucks here. Yep, they're uh, they're plodding along. Look at him. Look at him go. Lovely little Scania. And uh, our train's going to come down and pick up some planks. Let's uh, let's just get that. Uh, let's just pop with him. Should we have a little? Oh wow! So when you click the. Uh, when you click the follow along, it actually spawns you in the cab on the Class 66. That's brilliant. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I do know that we've had some performance issues when recording at Transport Fever 2. I am so, so sorry about that. I don't know if this is going to be rectified with this recording. I'm really, really hoping it will be. Uh, instead of recording in 2K, uh, I've lowered the uh, the recording rate, so hopefully we should get better performance. Yeah, the videos won't look as pretty, but at the end of the day, we've managed for so long not on uh, on 2k so I'm sure we'll be able to manage a little bit longer uh, again I am really sorry about that I don't even know if this recording is going to rectify it but uh, fingers crossed it will do you've got your Scania lorries on the right hand side there don't know if uh, oh there he is look we're overtaking him going flying past well uh, we'll pop back outside again I mean it does look absolutely stunning doesn't it the 66 in this Freightliner livery really really is a nice uh, a nice looking train Let's uh, let's have a bit of a let's have a. We should have got a picture of him earlier flying round over that viaduct. We really should. I mean, to be fair, when he's got a lot of planks on, we could pop back down here and get another picture of him snaking round there. I mean, that looks good, doesn't it? Look at that with a with a 66 on. Fantastic. Right, how many are you going to get? So you've currently got 128 waiting. You can carry 200. You're probably going to need more train for that. You know, just hazarding a guess there. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's get him in. Let's get him loaded. And let's get him back out again. Uh, yeah, I really don't know why Transport Fever has been performing so badly. Because uh, on my screen, it performs absolutely effortlessly. It really does. Other than the odd lag point every now and then. But uh, overall... It's absolutely effortless. He's going to go now, isn't he? Couple, uh, couple without planks on, but 135 out of uh, 200 is not bad at all, is it? Right, so we're going to fast forward a little bit. We are going to fast forward a little bit. There we go. Let's uh, let's fast forward to get this shot. What about something like that where he's uh, he's curving round? Oh, I don't know. Until he's here, it's very difficult to say, isn't it? I mean, yeah, okay, I said in the last video, oh, I don't really want to be sat here watching the mob fast forward. Uh, but unfortunately, folks, it's what we need to do, because we need to crack on with uh, with making more train in this video. I think it's probably not enjoying the 2K so much recently, purely and simply because of, uh, of the amount that's going on the, on this map now. You know, it's a busy map, isn't it? It's very hectic, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, whereabouts are you? You're coming round anytime soon. There he is. There he is. Right, let's uh, let's get him on that bridge. I mean, look how fast he goes round here. We really need to. Uh, we could do with slowing this down. Look at that. He's doing like 70. He's doing nothing of the sort. He's doing 58, but it looks like he's going so much faster. I mean, look at that. Right, let's uh, let's let's just tilt ourselves up there. Can we get a, can we get a, a bit of that? Ooh, lovely. I mean, that's pretty, isn't it? I am very conscious of the fact that all of my videos recently have had 66s as the thumbnail. But, I mean, we have been doing 
66 related things, haven't we? It's all been free. There we go. Carry on, my uh, my good 66 wood-carrying friend. Right, so he's going to come down and join the line here. Uh, so, that's going to give us some machines. It's going to give us some machines indeed, isn't it? Uh, you're both going to drop off on the same line. So, we're going to need a train running from Fairpont. Way a little bit of lag there. Over to here. Can you get here is the question. Uh, let's put you on row three. Yeah, which way are you going to go? So you're going to come round here. Okay. You're going to keep up here. Okay. Ah, we're going to have a bit of a problem round here because it's going to want to... Yeah, it's going to want to cross over. Right, so. You're going to keep up here like you normally do. Good. But then coming back... Uh, yeah, you're going to go up the slow line, that's fine. But coming back uh, from Fairpool, I need you to go down there. No, I don't. I need you to go down there. There we go. Over the top, yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, where have you gone? Where's me, uh, where's me line? Because you're going to have to come down there. Where on earth is it sending you? Uh, where's it? Where is this train going? So he's going to go up there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, is he? Is he actually going up here? Ah, yeah, he is. Right, okay. It, it's kind of. It's not really colouring the line, is it? I, I think he'll know where he's going. Why? He? He's going to know where he's going. So that's going to be Temple. Machines train. Now what we can do is, because uh, there's a bit of, I mean, we're going to be taking machines from here, aren't we? We're going to be taking them all the way down here. But we're producing some food down here. So we could potentially bring some food on the train all the way back up here so that we're making profit. Uh, back up here. Where is here? Here is here. Uh, Faircomb as well. Yeah, we could uh, we could stop you in Faircomb. Are you getting any food? No. You're not. I mean, there's no food processing plants apart from this one. Which is processing food. But, uh, yeah, we could we could do that and we could actually get the train to stop here on the way back. That is a great idea. Right, hang on. Where's my, where's my Tampool? Tampool machines. Uh, so you're going to go from Tampool West. You're going to stop here on the way back. Yeah. That's good. Right, where's the depot? So the depot's there. Uh, yeah, can we have a... Should we have a GBRF one? I like... Uh, excuse me. I like the GBRF. Cargo. What sort of wagons can we have? Something big and boxy, I imagine. <coughs> Something that can carry plastic and food. That's a container wagon. It can carry... Uh, sorry, machines and food. Right, there we go. Let's uh, Let's just have the container wagons then. We'll have you on, uh, on, I think we've got, have we, have we got maximum 300? We'll just have four of them. Will four be, is four what we want? I mean, there's, uh, probably two. Let's go with two, and then if we need more, we can always buy more, can't we? There we go. Right, get you on there. Uh, the Temple Machines Train. Where is he? Is he looking good? He's looking brilliant. He's looking very nice indeed. Now, hopefully that is going to mean uh, that we can keep these two separate. Hopefully they are going to separate. I mean, it's a bit hard really, isn't it? So, uh, they are going to be taking tools. No, they're not. They're going to be taking machines. Where are machines going? That's the question. Uh, machines, machines, machines. Get a good drop-off point. There we go. So machines are going in there. I'm going to pop you in there. And you're going to go there. Uh, right, okay. Machines. Uh, nope. Tampool. Distribution 2. Is that what I called it? Did I call it Temple Distribution 1? Food Distribution... 
Right, okay. Yeah, I didn't. Right, that'll be a Temple Machines distribution. Why did I get rid of distribution when I'd already typed it? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, so, you are... Are you guys waiting? You're not. You're just going straight in and out, aren't you? That's fine. Right. Uh, can we have, like... I mean, it's it's machines. So, Scania V8. <clears throat> yeah, that's what we like. Let's have... Uh, yeah, you're doing machines. Curtain side, two of you. Temple... Temple Machines distribution. There you go. Go and distribute shum... Shum? Shum, shum machines. Uh, go and distribute some machines. There we go. Uh, have we got a, a whatchamacallit near here? No. We've not got a goods place near this station. Well, that is absolutely criminal. I don't know where we can... We can't fit one anywhere, though. That's not good. What about if we, uh, if we go on the end here and put a, a cargo building... Ah, now that's a game changer. Let's stick you there. Couple of you either side. There we go. So now we've got something at the other side. So we could stick a cargo. Uh, hang on. Let's just flatten this. There we go. Just a, a bit of flattening there. Lovely. Right, that's brilliant. We've just spent an absolute ton of money that we didn't need to spend. And uh, let's have a bigger a bigger one there, because actually, when you think about it, as much as this isn't a hub city, it's a pretty flipping big city, isn't it? So we might actually need this. You know, this kind of bigger area here. Now we'll, we'll have you... Can you hear all the Dennis Darts in the background? <coughs> oh, I do beg your pardon. There we go, we'll just uh, just delete you. Tag you on there, splendid. And you can go uh, you can go straight down. What's that look like? There's no world holes involved. No, everything is hunky dory. Lovely. Uh, so we're gonna need a fuel and a food flipping egg. That's a lot of food, isn't it? Uh, right, distribute you to there and to there. Yep, the trucks can just go around. Uh, that's a depot. You can't pick up there traditionally. There we go. I'm going to go there and go there. Food distribution. Uh, fair point. Distribution one. And we'll have two lorries. Two lorries should be fine. Uh, Scania R series. Uh, no, let's have a Volvo. Let's have a Volvo this time. Uh, we'll have... Uh, what should we have? LKW Walter, let's have, uh, yeah, two of you. I can't remember what the name of this flipping town is now. Uh, Fairpont, Fairpont, that's the one. Fairpont Distribution 1. Get two of those Volvos out here. I mean, we've got Scania, so let's have a Volvo. It's a funny looking Volvo, isn't it? But uh, but nevertheless. So, where's our train? Has it arrived yet? Are you, uh, are you the first one here? I can't remember if Train 96 was the first one or the second one. Where's the other one? I mean, you're EWS, so it's not likely to be you. Where's the other guy gone? There was two of you. I mean... Uh, machines train... Did I only buy one? Oh, okay. I thought I bought two other things. Never mind. Well, he can pop out of whatever depot he chooses to pop out. There we go. I mean, that's looking great, isn't it? Where are our tools? How many are we taking? We're going to be taking a massive uh, 35 people. Fairpont Steel Train, where are you going? Uh, I mean, you're going to be bringing steel from there. Why would you be taking tools to here? I mean, yeah, where, where would the tools be going? Unless they're changing onto here. That's very weird. That's incredibly weird. I'm really hoping we've built 320 metre long stations as well now, because if we haven't, we're going to look silly. Where would they be going? I don't understand why they're going on the steel train. Where are they destined for? Uh, destinations. Faircombe East. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's there. But where will the lorries take you? 
Oh, I don't understand. I don't understand where those would be going at all. But we're going to be here. We're, uh, we've got our uh, we've got our tools on. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I do beg your pardon. I really am terribly sorry. We've got our machines on and we are off. We're, uh, we're not hanging about. We've not got many machines on. Admittedly, we could probably do with more on than this to turn a profit. So what we'll do is we're going to go into manage line. And uh, we are going to set the maximum waiting time at each of the stations. We're not going to tell it to load, but it just means that these trains should space themselves out a little bit better. I mean, he's waiting for a... F oh, right, okay, that's why he's waiting for a free path, because Mr. Freightliner's whizzing across. Okay, so we've got 66s in all different colours here, haven't we? We've got GBRF, Freightliner coming in, and uh, and there's an EWS that brings the uh, the steel over. We've got a hell of a lot of different uh, different trains, haven't we? Well, they're all 66s, but you know what I mean. No, nope, EWS is here, just behind. So what, what containers have we got? China Shipping, p &O, Ferry Masters. See, I like the container wagons. I really do like the container wagons. I think they look great. What do you actually take? So you're bringing steel up. Not much of it, it has to be said. And then you take... Oh, you take goods back, but we've never made goods, have we? That was the idea, because Faircomb could then have some goods. Right, well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep you in the corner because we need to make some goods, don't we, for uh, for Fair Faircomb, Fairpont, and Faircomb. It's terribly uh, terribly confusing, isn't it? Uh, where can we make plastic? Well. Off the top of my head, I didn't even remember seeing plastic on this map. I'm sure it's here, because otherwise, how can you make it? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I mean, we've got some oil. Oil makes plastic. Oh, is there, uh, is there plastic down here? At the bottom, near Temple. Uh, no. Okay, no there's not, is, uh, is your answer to that. You make plastic round here? No. Nope. Problem is, is it can be quite difficult to see because a lot of the towns and cities are getting quite large now. Uh, nope, not round here. If you can see any plastic, give me a shout, you know, give me a, uh, a wave. Like, hey Joe, plastic down there. Where? I can't see it. Oh, for goodness sake, where on earth? It, I mean, it would be really easy uh, to find the plastic by simply going into the menu. Uh, but I kind of feel a little bit like that would be cheating. Plastic. Oh, no, that says it needs plastic. Oh, do you know what? Sod it. Let's just go in here. Suppliers. Uh, oh, hang on. There is nowhere. No, that can't be right. Industries? Excuse me. Ah, right, okay. Uh, ooh, right. So we need to build the industry somewhere. Do we? I don't know. I've just clicked the industry thing and the whole thing's crashed. Maybe we don't need to build the industry. Maybe, uh, maybe plastic is not what we're meant to be doing. Are you, uh... Yep. Oh, no, we're here. Right, there we go. Plastic factory. Uh, input on, auto upgrade on, industry production level. I mean, we're going to put it at four because, you know, we want it to produce a lot of plastic. What's down here? This is, uh, yeah, this is a, a place with Grand Central 180s, so that's not ideal. What about if we put it down at our goods hub? Because then, as well as food, it can bring plastic up this train. Ooh, now there's a sensible idea. Although, yeah, where would where would we put it? I don't know. I've never done this before. I've n literally never built an industry. Uh, could we put you there? Well, we could.
Let's shove it there and see what happens. Right, you're out of the way. You're, you're in the wrong... Oh, crumbs, I can't delete the flipping thing now. For crying out loud. How do you delete an industry? I don't want uh, an oil rig. I don't want that. Battersea power station. For Christ's sake. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Well, I know I moan like crazy about the autosave, but it did absolutely save our bacon, quite literally. Uh, yeah, it saved just before I placed that flipping plastics factory, so uh, I just reloaded the game. That's uh, that's pretty much how I got back here. Now, <coughs> excuse me, that's not going to work, and as I did not know, uh, as it turns out, you can't delete the flipping things uh, once you place them. I thought you could, which is going to throw a real spanner in the works. Uh, I mean, plastic could be produced down here. It, it depends what does plastic need, because that is really a deciding factor. Um, there's a lot of coal weight in here. What are you? Are you on your way? Oh, that's fine. Um, I mean, we could actually... Do you know what? Let's uh, let's put it here, because it's out of the way, and it? It's down here. It gives us an excuse to use this section of the map. Uh, fall in. We don't need fall in. Just a, just a wee two lane will, uh, will do us. Thank you. There we go. Gives us a little bit of traffic coming in from uh, from this direction. We'll just uh, we'll upgrade this this road all the way through town there. There we go. Oh yeah, hang on, you can't get round. Uh, uh, bah, don't worry about that. So down here, that's where the plastic factory is going to be. Uh, nice and out of the way. Nice and out of the way. Uh, plastic, plastic, plastic. We join that on there. Let's pop you on there, and uh, there we go. And what we'll do is we'll connect this road up. It's a, a narrow little road. But we'll uh, oh maybe not a town road. Let's uh, there we go. And we'll do the same here. We have a, a straight road. There we go. Well, that looks far superior to what we've done here. So we'll delete all that. There we go, and just pop you. Straight down there. Brilliant. Right, okay. Uh, just a regular, regular, uh, whatchamacallit, regular depot. Two lanes. Uh, maybe you can't hold as much. We'll have, uh, we'll have a small. There we go. So what do you need? You need oil. And you will make plastic. Okay. Well, we'll send the plastic down to here... Uh, is you, you're near the station, right, so then they'll take the plastic round there. That's fine, so we'll, uh, we'll send you there. And to there, yep, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so Temple Plastic Production Trucks. Temple Plastic Production, I mean, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, do we have a lorry that can carry? I mean, it's going to need to carry fuel, isn't it? So what we'll do is we'll go in the Scania... We'll have, uh, <coughs> excuse me, three tankers, and we will also have three uh, Scania, 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 Scania. They can carry plastic, that can carry plastic, uh, the, the tanker can't, obviously, so we'll have three of you as well. Oh, that, well, that will be four. There we go, six trucks. On the Temple Plastic Production. And they'll just shuttle up and down, taking oil from there to there and plastic from there to there. Where's the oil coming from? I hear you cry. And the answer to that is I haven't got a scooby-doo uh, as to where the oil's coming from. Uh, we've not got any oil. Uh, ba -ba -ba, there's some oil here. We're back into the looking for the industries uh, game. Oil. Oil. We're making some oil down here somewhere. There we go. So there's oil be made somewhere. There's oil been made here. Uh, was there was there oil been made down here? No, there was fuel, and the fuel was coming from coal. So we literally need to to take the the, the oil from here, don't we? Really? Heck, where are we now? I'm, I'm getting lost. I'm getting lost in my own flipping map. Uh, right. So suppliers, just one. Right. 
Okay, so what? You, the, it's all on you to make some oil. Okay, well, have we got? We've got one train there. We could really do with you being a bit longer. Uh, right, so that's two forty. So three twenty. Let's have a look. How long can we actually make this? Because we we need it to be longer. So hang on. 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240. Uh, uh, 280. 320. Oh, so that, that's 320. Now, is that track hovering? Because if that track's hovering, then this is not acceptable. Uh, ba -ba. So that is 320. Right, okay. I didn't realise it was that easy. I mean, it's it's a fairly long station now, isn't it? Uh, that track is not hovering. I mean, that is precariously close to, to having a landslide, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. What are you bringing in? You're bringing in. Uh, you're bringing in oil. Okay, and you are you are producing oil. Right. So let's have a uh, let's pop back down here. Just knit back down. Can you get from there? to down here. Can you get from there to there? The answer is yes. Right, okay. Again, we're going to have to just do a little check as to what route you're taking. So you're going up here. Yeah, you're going to obviously go around here. Um, right, hang on. I've lost you. Where are you? You're here. Are you going straight up here? Yes, you are. So, Temple. Puddle Bridge to Temple. You need to go down there. That's what you need to do. You're going to come up here. I imagine it's going to branch left here. Is it going left there? Yeah, it's going left there. So you're going... There's quite a bit of freight coming down here, isn't there? It's coming down here. Right the way down. Oh, this is a long route. Yep, yeah, right the way around. Oh my god, then you're coming up and over the top. There must be a, a quicker way than all that zigzagging, but that is what freight trains do, you know. Uh, right, so you will be the Temple Oil Train. Okay, right, let's, uh, let's get you going. From this depot, of course. We're going to have some diesel trains. What are we having? Well, I reckon uh, that we're not going to be using a diesel multiple unit at all. We're going to be using Loco. Uh, we'll use a 60. Have we got a GBRF? No, we've not got a GBRF 60 yet. Uh, I wanted to use a GBRF 60. That's a shame. What about a... Uh, ooh, yeah. Maybe? Right, okay. Uh, what about Freightliner? Freightliner, Freightliner, Freightliner. What wagons can we have first? Let's have a look at the tanker wagons. TEA, unbranded. Right, we can have EB, EW, EBWS? EWS. EP. Right, it's got to be EWS because we've got the EWS tankers. Right, okay. Uh, Diesel Loco. Well, of which case, we'll use Class 60s in EWS. There we go. Uh, cargo, where's my TEAs? There we go. So, we could use EWS white and red. We're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Nope, there we go. Right, that's, uh, that's a good amount. I'm just going to move you there. There we go. That's a four of you. Four of the flipping things. That's going to set us back a load of money, isn't it? Uh, temple, temple oil train. There we go. So, oh, there's some oil going past there. What are you on? What are you behind? You're behind a, uh, you're behind a 47 flipping heck with rail freight distribution on the side. I mean, that is, uh, yeah, these trains are quite old. This is an abandoned section of the map down here, isn't it? I mean, this is, this is where we did all our original. Wow, a class 20 in BR. I'd forgotten about you. This really is a, a forgotten area of the world, isn't it? Because when you think about it, this is where all that original development was. And uh, as it turns out now that all the new stuff's here, 
it's we're kind of all the way over on the other side of the map. Flipping egg. Oh, I don't like the fact the EWS on the 60s is a different shade, but uh, I guess you can't have everything, can you? Ooh, plane's going down. How many have you got on? 56. You're making me a lot of money, so that's all that matters. Yeah, that is where we are going to leave it for today. I'm really, really hoping that when it comes to us looking at it, that the, uh, the performance issues have been rectified. Let me know in the comments what you think to today's video. If you have enjoyed it, click the like button. It's always appreciated. And uh, like I say, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for all the rest of the Piddlemouth Coast series. Other than that, as I say, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.